Welcome back to another episode in the meal prep series. Today we're cooking our super simple Thai stir fry, some pad CU. The sauce only has four ingredients, so it's super easy to make and cook. As always, I'll throw the macros and calories on the screen before I start. Let's go! Let's start by prepping the vegetables. For this recipe, you'll need approximately 300 grams of kailan, or probably better known in Australia as Chinese broccoli. This whole bunch is around 500 grams, but I quickly realized it wouldn't fit in the pan once I started cooking, so I only used 300 grams. I cut the ends of mine off as they are a little bit dry, and then cut them into thirds, and finally, cut the thicker ends into one inch pieces so it all cooks evenly. Place in a bowl and set aside. You'll also need three cloves of garlic, which you'll lightly smash with the flat part of your knife, peel, and then slice and then dice by running your knife through it a few times. Place in a bowl and set aside. Now let's slice the chicken. For this recipe, you'll need 750 grams of chicken breast, which you'll slightly flatten by smashing or running your knife through it like this. You'll then cut it into pieces that are approximately five centimeters wide and slice into strips around five millimeters thick. Once the chicken is sliced, place it in a bowl and cover with 20 milliliters of light soy sauce, a few shakes of white pepper, and one tablespoon of cornstarch. Stir to evenly coat and set aside. You'll also need five whole eggs, which you'll crack into a bowl, whisk, and set aside. Finally, to make the sauce for the pad CU, grab a small bowl and combine 40 milliliters of light soy, 40 milliliters of dark soy, 50 grams of oyster sauce, and 16 grams of white sugar. Stir to combine and set aside. Now it's time to cook all the components. You'll cook all of the components separately and combine at the end. Grab the largest fry pan you have, set over high, lightly oil, approximately four milliliters, and allow to heat. Add half the chicken to the pan and cook on one side for 90 seconds until the chicken develops some color. Then flip and continue to cook for approximately 60 to 90 more seconds until it's just about cooked through. You'll finish cooking in the pan later. Repeat with the other half of the chicken and set aside. Give the pan a quick rinse, set over high, lilac oil, approximately two milliliters, and allow to heat. Add the eggs to the pan and allow to cook for 30 seconds. Move the eggs around the pan until just cooked and remove. This should take about 60 seconds. Now that most of the components are cooked, we can partially cook the rice noodles in hot water and finish them off in the pan. I've used these standard sized rice noodles as I didn't have access to wider rice noodles, but these will do perfectly fine. Add 500 grams of rice noodles to a large bowl and cover with boiling water. Allow the rice noodles to cook for 90 to 120 seconds. Once partially cooked, drain and set aside. Now place the same large pan over medium, allow to heat, lilac oil, and add the rice noodles to the pan, followed by the garlic. Lightly fry for 60 seconds. Add the kailan, followed by the pad CU sauce, and stir to combine. Fry for three minutes and then add the chicken to the pan. Stir to combine and cook for another one minute and finally add the eggs to the pan. Stir everything together and that's the pad CU meal prep complete. Now grab five containers and evenly divide the pad CU over each, ensuring you distribute all the components evenly. As always, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to drop it a like, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next one.